And okay. this is a favorite. And uh, they're, most of the reviews on this skillet are a perfect five star. And we wanna tell you early on that this is cast iron, but it's close to almost 20% lighter than your traditional cast iron. So it's all the things that you love. Why do we love cast iron to begin with? We love cast iron because it retains high heat and it's able to hold those high heats. So whether you're searing a steak or a burger or your vegetables, whatever it is, it's gonna hold those heats and it's gonna retain that heat as well. Three great colors for you to select from, black, red, or the cobalt blue. Those are the colors. Oh, by the way, did I mention non-stick cast iron that does not require seasoning? I know. So it's everything that our grandmothers and great-grandmothers wanted but didn't have. And that's why this has become a customer pick. People buy this when they when they see you and are discovering that you're here at HSN. They they love it. You've got poor spouts. It's the perfect size. It's, it's so versatile. Yes. Even even the handle, a nice long handle, and you know again, just you can pick it up. And I want to show you the handle. Just even this is hot. You see, there's uh, I made the, the, this kind of dug it out so not the heat doesn't travel through the handle. This hole too prevents the heat from coming to you. And so all of these little details, which, you know, I experienced many a times I burnt my sure. hands, this and that. So right. I want to share it with you. You know, I want to give you my, all my good advice. And I noticed so, that you're cooking on one of these more modern, like glass top stoves. But one of the nice things about cast iron is that it works on all stove tops yeah. and it's even oven safe to 500 degrees. Exactly. So whether there's a bread that you're going to make or the bread pudding that you made a little bit earlier or uh, look at this. Yeah. Oh my uh, every, gosh. Every look at, look at how beautiful. That's a focaccia. While you do that, a focaccia, that's a frittata in the oven. Yeah. That's an apple uh, crumble. Beautiful. And that's home, we call it patate in techa. Home, I know, home potatoes with a little bit of onions and all that. Uh, Everybody loves that. Yeah. But look at the nice color that the potatoes get. In nice and pan. golden brown. Exactly. Yeah. We all love that. So let me show you here. You don't need to put any oil in this uh, nonstick cast iron pan. I'm going to sear some shrimps. The shrimps, you, I seasoned before, a little garlic, a little thyme, a little bit of oil, and Put it right on a hut. And I love that sound of the sizzle. Yes, and you don't want to overcrowd. Make sure because you want to give the shrimp enough space to really caramelize. So there goes the shrimp. And here, what I'm going to do here, lamb chops. I'm going to sear lamb chops. Nice. So you, see, you can have people in your kitchen saying, and you can be cooking. Uh, carelessly in front of them like you're, <laughs> like you're Lydia, let's put it that way. Huh? Okay, so here again, I have lamb chops. Uh, this is called French lamb chops. You can leave the meat and the fat, but you can have your butcher clean this, and it's French, it's called French. But it's, it's beautiful because people can pick it up even with their hands if you have sure. kind of an adjourn. So again, oil, I have here salt, rosemary, I, the pan doesn't need any oil, you see, less oil, and it will caramelize it beautifully and cook beautifully. The one thing is when you cook in the pan like that and you want that caramelization, don't stir things around. Let them caramelize. Okay. Okay? Leave them alone. Let them rest. Exactly. Leave them alone. And here we are. So I'm going to... Ooh. Raisin. This is chicken cacciatore. How do you like that? Everybody likes it. Everybody loves that. Uh, onion, peppers. And this is so, so great. You did this with, with chicken legs, which are very affordable. You know, we know food is so expensive right exactly. now. And for the families that are looking to really make those meals stretch, right? To make certain that everybody gets nice. Stay, yeah. yeah. Stay, stay in season uh, with the vegetables. So I have mushrooms here. Mushrooms are year round. I have peppers, but you can also make it with zucchini. And you can first brown the chicken. Yes. And then you make the sauce in it and the vegetables. Here I have some sausage and pepper. Oh again. my gosh, that's one of you my know? favorites. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's easy to make. This pan is ideal for and it. And I look at I'm looking at what you're using. I don't know if we can get a shot. You're going right into this nonstick pan with, with a me with a metal spoon. No which, problem. So, you know, when we think about cast iron, and I imagine when you were growing up that your mother and grandmother probably, your grandparents probably used cast iron. 
right? Oh, we but had cast iron. My grandmother had the big bowl, uh, kind of round also. She made polenta in it, which is, you know, the yes, cornmeal. Yes, but I bet you it was only in black. Only in black. Right? Oh, because that's black. all they made back then. Exactly. And I, so I love these pops of color with the red, which is the number look, one bestseller. Look, look at the and color. And the cobalt blue, right, as well. We also have the black if you want that, that wonderful traditional one. Oh, so, nice. So you know what I want you to do? I'm going to go get some potatoes because I'm going to put the lamb okay. on the potatoes. You turn the shrimps. Yes, ma'am. Get, get the here. I'll give you this so you don't. Okay. Just in case. Just in case. Yes. All right, I'm going to make I'm you gonna, proud. Uh, well, here I'm going to put the lamb. Uh, that's it. Make sure that they're nice and brown on all sides. Okay. And tell me, tell me how, how they're doing. They look really great. You know what? One of the things that I'm noticing is how, how nice and even they're, br they're browned, all of them. Okay. Yeah. So, I want to show you. Ooh. This is, this is the home fries. Look how okay, beautiful. Okay, tell me how to make that. <laughs> One thing at a time. One thing at a time. One Look. thing at a time. <laughs> Look at this. That looks Look so this. good. And and you can leave it in here for the for uh, so that you can reheat it. Look at this. Okay. And I'm gonna put the lamb chops on this. And here I have some mint uh, chutney for the lamb chops. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're smoking in there. I like that. All right. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? You the did shrimp? a beautiful job. Yep. Okay. Now let's turn, look Look at these lamb chops, look at them. Ooh. Look how beautiful. And you know, when you cook at a high temperature and quick searing, you get that, that outside crust, but the inside is still medium, or medium rare, or mm. rare, whatever you'd like it. If you want it rare, you have to do it really quick. Gosh, look at okay. how nice and golden okay. those Here are. Here I have the shrimps, which are done, because shrimps don't take long. Okay, put it on top of that. So you can see asparagus just dressed a little bit with, grab that one, don't let it run away. Yeah, that one, <laughs> that one's trying to get okay. away from us. Okay, so you see the asparagus are steamed, just a little bit of butter or oil or whatever, some toast bread, and voila. And this, you can eat it hot, you can have it at room temperature, it's all set. Let me put this away. And I like what you just did. Did you notice that you were able to grab that handle? And you talked about the look, handles look, early on, look. how you designed them, look. not only longer, but with that opening so that the heat releases away from the fry pan. Exactly. Which I think is so smart. Hey, if you'd like to order, I want to remind you of what your choices are. Don't forget that these are the three choices. Our cobalt blue is going to be the first to sell out. That's the one that we have most limited. Red is the number one popular, most popular color. That's my personal favorite with this. And I usually like the black in cast iron because it just harkens back to my grandmother. But I really do love this red. I don't know if we mentioned, I know that Lydia showed you the helper handle, but I want to also call out that we do have the pour spouts, right? So if it's bacon or maybe a burger or some of the fat that you want to drain off of it, you can do that with those pour spouts. And I love that so that everything doesn't run on the side of the pans. It's nonstick, so it makes it very easy to clean. Lamb. <laughs> Okay, Clean. I'm gonna put it right here because look at this. Perfect. And I'm holding it. Yes. No problem. So I think let's talk about that for a moment because when in and when I was preparing for the show, one of the things it talked about is how this cast iron pan is more lightweight than the cast iron pans that we're accustomed to. So it's, I think, I think the number is somewhere a little over 18% more lightweight compared to traditional cast iron. That's a breath of fresh air. That's welcoming. Because we loved how those cast iron pa pans held heat and how they would retain heat and how they would brown our foods, but none of us cared for the heavy weight. And the maintenance that goes along and with it. And the maintenance. That. And of course, you don't have the color, the presentation. Yes. And the enamel around, which is easier to clean. Right, and I love what you talked about because those old fashioned cast iron pans um, that weren't nonstick, this is nonstick, you'd have to season them. And exactly. you have to be very careful with how you, you know, wash them. We have to get a close up of this because my <laughs> gosh. Are you coming to dinner? Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, Look at this. that is, and so that this, is breathtakingly beautiful. So this is a mint, do you know what? Grab it's almost too, no, it's too pretty to touch. Take this little one here and it's you, so you want, pretty. You don't want it? Okay. okay. Oh, God. Well, I will. I will. Okay. Just I, dip I, it a little bit in the mint sauce. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little I'm bit. I'm going to give you this so you don't... All right. Thank you. Take a bite and tell me. Bite. Tell me what you think. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm going home with you. That's what I think. <laughs> no, you're gonna go home to your, to your home and cook. Now, I wanna show you also. That's delicious. The, the, the versatility mm, of this pan. I love the mint sauce. I wanna show you, look at this. Mm. This is a focaccia. You can make bread in this, and it comes out, comes, slides right out. And it's the perfect size. There you go. Here is a frittata. And look at how nice and brown that is. Can we show the bottom of that? That's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Even. Gorgeous. Nice and even. Mm -hmm. You make your focaccia, you make the dough. And you know, a focaccia dough too. You can have it and you can put it in the freezer and then you pull it out and then you make your focaccia. Oh! Isn't that nice? And then I'm gonna show you my frittata. Ah, I love that. Okay, so let's go to the frittata. The frittata is still warm, so you want to kind of just loosen it up a little bit. And look at this. Okay, again, clean. I'm going to just clean it up a little bit because it's still hot. And I want to show you. Yeah. Eh? The frittata. And then, of course, Roast the whole chicken in it. Yeah, which is, which is, you know, for most families, that's so easy and simple to do. And I have around the tomatoes, the potatoes, the uh, carrots. Some carrots. It's a whole meal, all in one. And then, of course, we go to dessert. The dessert. So buy yeah. more than one because you could have the roaster in one and dessert going on the, the other. The apple crumble one. going in another, and you can alternate any way you want it. Yeah. Uh, or braising or whatever. And that was now. the potato that you cooked a little bit earlier. Yes. What yeah. would you like to taste next? I want to taste the potato and some sausage. Okay, let me go. I've tasted everything. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> right? This oh, is listen, the kind of, let's, find, let's find out how the cookbook is doing. Um, because, you know, we're, we're, this, is your, this is her number one best-selling pan. If you're just joining us, yes, this is Lydia from over 25 years on PBS and counting. Um, we love the Lydia's Kitchen and uh, restaurateur, um, a best-selling author, um, you are on cookbook number 13? 13, 13. 13. And we have the latest and the newest cookbook. And what's wonderful about the cookbook that we are presenting <clears throat> is that this cookbook is encompassed of all of your favorite recipes, but you are going to be able to make these dishes with one pan, one pot, maybe two on occasions, but people really love one pan meals and one pot meals. And so... Absolutely. Absolutely. This, this you can make the whole meal in one, whether you make chicken cacciatore or the sausages, or whether you make a frittata, you can make the focaccia, you can make the focaccia, then you keep it, and then you can use the, the pan for another thing. So here you have yours, your sausage and your potatoes. Oh my gosh, look at that. And the, the home fries, let me tell you, they come beautiful in this pan because what you do, home fries are very, very easy. I don't have to tell you, but I'll tell you my way. So I, cook, I boil the potatoes. Okay. And I sort of uh, saute some onions. Sometimes mm. I put in a little of the green peppers, and I saute. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I put the cooked potatoes in there and sort of mash them a little bit. Oil, and let them mash, and let them slowly cook on one side. Then I flip them over and cook the other side. Caramelized both mm -hmm. sides. Good? Wonderful. All right. So caramelize them on, on both sides. On both sides, yeah. They're delicious. Yeah. But don't, don't fret. When you put in the first time, you can <clears throat> even mix them. You don't have to get the pancake right out of the first stack. You're saying mush it down in the pan. And then, and then, <coughs> then you can mix it and it's beginning to brown. And then when you're getting towards the end and you see, okay, now I want to form the pancake. Right. Then you press then it. Then you press it. Into position. So do, <clears throat> do you think we get too anxious a little bit, huh? Yes. Like Sometimes you have to l be patient in cooking. In the sand, you have to, I told you, let the caramelization You happen. did say that. Don't move. Don't go and start putting things and stirring them around really quickly. Exactly, exactly. Once, especially if you're doing like chops or steaks. The shrimp, or, you said let it, put it in the pan, let it caramelize. Absolutely. And then give it a couple of minutes. Absolutely. And then start turning things over. Yeah. yeah. So there lots of wonderful teachings and learnings and tips here. All right, I'm going to go into the sausage. Do you enjoy good sausage? I do. <laughs> yeah. I like every, every part of it. You know, there's, there's, there's one... There's only one food that I have difficulties with, and it's an herb. You know what it is? Mm -mm. Cilantro. Mm. I have difficulties. It's, it's, I think it's genetic. 
They say it's...